this is not a quick fix to your financial issues. No, yes. you need to be committed to this journey. And on that note, yes. I think yes. I want to I want to ask a question that gears more towards those who are just starting out right now, right? So just before of course, when you started your investment, your property investment journey, I know that you had a lot of help um, from your business partners, from people who you teamed up with. But what mm. other things do we need to consider before going on this journey of property investment? Okay, so what you look at, what you need to consider before going on the journey of property investment is one, location. A great location means and, and, I, and I stand to be corrected, but a great location can mean different things to different people. For example, someone, someone who loves the city would be willing to stay or to live in Sentin, right? Personally, <laughs> I love the city, but I'm going into business and I think of it, who can be my partners, the way you said. So the text man must be my partner. That's how I look at it. And the tax man must be a shareholder in my business. And therefore, I will look at the centrality of the area, the neighborhood, right? The commercial, what commercial development plans are going on there. And obviously, obviously I've just spoken about it, the actual position of the land and the tax incentives. That's why I said the tax man must be my partner in my business. If I don't have a tax man giving me enough benefits, I won't do the deal, period. That's it. You've heard the saying, the rich keep on getting richer and the poor keep on getting poorer because the tax men allow the rich people to become richer and richer and richer if you understand the systems and if you understand the law. So, for example, I love Johannesburg. I love the central Johannesburg CBD because there's a system going on that's called the Urban Development Zone Tax Incentive. It's under the Section 13 Court. I'm not a tax advisor. People can uh, approach their attorneys or they can approach, they can approach their accountants, but I know it and I'm sharing. You know? and, and, and if they don't apply it properly, they must not go and say, Echo said so, but it works. So, so you, it, those are the incentives that you get. Like, for example, I can say, comfortably say, my property is in barrier because it valued under a certain threshold, even though it gives me massive rental income. The text message says, don't pay any rates property rates, because it's an urban development zone. They want people like us to refurbish the city. The government doesn't have enough money to do it by itself. It needs private investors like us to do it. And that is how you get your tax benefits. You get incentivized to use money, to grow money. And, and those are the things. So the areas like Newtown, Jobeck CBD, Grand uh, Fontaine, Hebro, Jovo, Dolphontein, you know, Bertram, those areas, uh, Lawrenceville, those areas, those areas, people look at it as uh, dirty areas, uh, crime areas. They don't want to touch it. That's where the government heart is. So if you've done your research, you will know where the money is sitting in terms of what government can give you. And then you play, you just play the game, just tag along and make good money. Because, I mean, I've spoken to many people who are too afraid to invest in property, Joburg CBD. You say Joburg CBD and everyone's like, no, we can't do that. You say Yorville, you say all these areas and people are very afraid to invest in this. And I think what's so important and what you've kept echoing throughout this conversation is to do your research.